instead of a single inventor. The Internet was developed by many people over many years. The following are some Internet pioneers who contributed to its early development. These include early theoretical foundations, specifying original protocols, and expansion beyond a research tool to wide deployment. The pioneers Claude Shannon Claude Shannon called the «father of modern information theory», published «A Mathematical Theory of Communication» in 1948. His paper gave a formal way of studying communication channels. It established fundamental limits on the efficiency of communication over noisy channels, and presented the challenge of finding families of codes to achieve capacity. Vannevar Bush Vannevar Bush helped to establish a partnership between U.S. military, university research, and independent think tanks. He was appointed chairman of the National Defense Research Committee in 1940 by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, appointed director of the Office of Scientific Research and Development in 1941, and from 1946 to 1947, he served as chairman of the Joint Research and Development Board. Out of this would come DARPA, which in turn would lead to the ARPANET project. His July 1945 Atlantic Monthly article, As We May Think, Proposed Memex, a theoretical proto-hypertext computer system in which an individual compresses and stores all of their books, records, and communications, which is then mechanized so that it may be consulted with exceeding speed and flexibility. <laughs> Paul Barron Paul Barron developed the field of redundant distributed networks while conducting research at RAND Corporation starting in 1959 when Barron began investigating the development of survivable communication networks. This led to a series of papers titled, On Distributed Communications, that in 1964 described a detailed architecture for a distributed survivable packet switched communications network. In 2012, Barron was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Topic: <laughs> J.C.R. Licklider. Joseph Carl Robnett Licklider (1915–1990) was a faculty member of Massachusetts Institute of Technology and researcher at Bolt, Baranek, and Newman. He developed the idea of a universal network at the Information Processing Techniques Office of the United States Department of Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency He headed IPTO from 1962 to 1963, and again from 1974 to 1975. His 1960 paper, Man-Computer Symbiosis, envisions that mutually interdependent, living together, Tightly coupled human brains and computing machines would prove to complement each other's strengths. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Donald Davies. Donald Davies 1924 to 2000 independently invented and named the concept of packet switching in 1965 at the United Kingdom's National Physical Laboratory (NPL). In the same year, he proposed a national data network based on packet switching in the UK. After the proposal was not taken up nationally, during 1966 he headed a team which produced a design for a local area network to serve the needs of NPL and prove the feasibility of packet switching. In 1967, a written version of the proposal entitled NPL Data Network was presented by a member of his team Roger Scantlebury at the ACM conference in Gatlinburg. 
The paper described how equipment nodes used to transmit signals packets would be connected by electrical links to re-transmit the signals between and to the nodes, and interface computers would be used to link node networks to so-called time-sharing computers and other users. The interface computers would transmit multiplex signals between networks, and nodes would switch transmissions while connected to electrical circuitry functioning at a rate of processing amounting to megabits. Scantleberry suggested packet switching for use in the ARPANET, Larry Roberts incorporated it into the design and sought input from Paul Barron as well. Davies gave the first public demonstration of packet switching in 1968 and built the local area NPL network in England, influencing other research in the UK and Europe. The NPL network followed by ARPANET were the first two networks in the world to use packet switching. In 2012, Davies was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Charles M. Herzfeld Charles M. Herzfeld was an American scientist and scientific manager, best known for his time as director of DARPA, during which, among other things, he personally took the decision to authorize the creation of the ARPANET, the predecessor of the Internet. In 2012, Herzfeld was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Bob Taylor Robert W. Taylor February 10, 1932 to April 13, 2017, was director of ARPA's Information Processing Techniques Office from 1965 through 1969, where he convinced ARPA to fund a computer network. From 1970 to 1983, he managed the Computer Science Laboratory of the Xerox Palo Alto Research Center Park, where technologies such as Ethernet and the Xerox Alto were developed. He was the founder and manager of Digital Equipment Corporation Systems Research Center until 1996. The 1968 paper, The Computer as a Communication Device, that he wrote together with J.C.R. Licklider starts out. In a few years, men will be able to communicate more effectively through a machine than face to face. And while their vision would take more than a few years, the paper lays out the future of what the Internet would eventually become. <laughs> Larry Roberts Lawrence G. Larry Roberts is an American computer scientist. After earning his Ph.D. in electrical engineering from MIT in 1963, Roberts continued to work at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory where in 1965 he connected Lincoln Lab's TX2 computer to the SDCQ32 computer in Santa Monica. In 1966, he became a program manager in the ARPA Information Processing Techniques Office IPTO, where he led the development of the ARPANET, the first wide-area packet switching network. Roberts applied Donald Davies' concepts of packet switching for the ARPANET, and also sought input from Paul Barron and Leonard Kleinrock. After Robert Taylor left ARPA in 1969, Roberts became director of the IPTO. In 1973, he left ARPA to commercialize the nascent technology in the form of Telenet, the first data network utility, and served as its CEO from 1973 to 1980. In 2012, Roberts was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Kleinrock Leonard Kleinrock born 1934, published his first paper on queuing theory in digital networks, information flow in large communication nets, in 1961. After completing his Ph.D. thesis in 1962, which provided a fundamental theory of digital message switching, he moved to UCLA. In the late 1960s, building on his earlier work on queuing theory, Kleinrock carried out theoretical work to model the performance of packet-switched networks, which underpinned the development of the ARPANET. 
In 1969, a team at UCLA connected a computer to an interface message processor, becoming the first node on ARPANET. His theoretical work on hierarchical routing in the late 1970s with student Farouk Kamoun remains critical to the operation of the Internet today. In 2012, Kleinrock was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Douglas Engelbart Douglas Engelbart was an early researcher at the Stanford Research Institute. His Augmentation Research Center laboratory became the second node on the ARPANET in October 1969, and SHRI became the early network information center, which evolved into the domain name registry. Engelbart was a committed, vocal proponent of the development and use of computers and computer networks to help cope with the world's increasingly urgent and complex problems. He is best known for his work on the challenges of human-computer interaction, resulting in the invention of the computer mouse, and the development of hypertext, networked computers, and precursors to graphical user interfaces. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Feinler Elizabeth J. Jake Feinler born 1931, was a staff member of Doug Engelbart's Augmentation Research Center at SHRI and PI for the Network Information Center for the ARPANET and the Defense Data Network from 1972 until 1989. In 2012, Feinler was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Louis Poussin. Louis Poussin born 1931, is a French computer scientist. He invented the datagram and designed an early packet communications network, Cyclades. Concepts from his work were used by Robert Kahn, Vinton Cerf, and others in the development of TCP, IP. In 1997, Poussin received the ACM SIGCOM award for pioneering work on connectionless packet communication. Louis Poussin was named a Chevalier of the Legion of Honor by the French government on March 19, 2003. In 2012, Poussin was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Topic John Clenson John Clenson's involvement with Internet began in 1969, when he worked on the file transfer protocol. Clenson was involved in the early procedural and definitional work for DNS administration and top-level domain definitions and was part of the committee that worked out the transition of DNS-related responsibilities between USC ISI and what became ICANN. His career includes 30 years as a principal research scientist at MIT, a stint as INFOODS project coordinator for the United Nations University, distinguished engineering fellow at MCI WorldCom, and Internet Architecture Vice President at AT&T, he is now an independent consultant. In 1992 Randy Bush and John Clenson created the Network Startup Resource Center, helping dozens of countries to establish connections with Fidonet, Usenet, and when possible the Internet. In 2003, he received an International Committee for Information Technology Standards Merit Award. In 2007, he was inducted as a Fellow of the Association for Computing Machinery for Contributions to Networking Standards and Internet Applications. In 2012, Clenson was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Topic Bob Kahn Robert E. Bob Kahn born 1938, is an American engineer and computer scientist, who in 1974, along with Vint Cerf, invented the TCP, IP protocols. After earning a Ph.D. degree from Princeton University in 1964, he worked for AT&T Bell Laboratories, as an assistant professor at MIT, and at Bolt, Berenick and Newman BBN, where he helped develop the ARPANET IMP. In 1972, he began work at the Information Processing Techniques Office IPTO within ARPA. In 1986 he left ARPA to found the Corporation for National Research Initiatives CNRI, a non-profit organization providing leadership and funding for research and development of the national information infrastructure. 
Topic: <laughs> Vint Surf. Vinton G. Vint Surf, born 1943, is an American computer scientist. He is recognized as one of the fathers of the internet. Sharing this title with Bob Kahn, he earned his PhD from UCLA in 1972. At UCLA he worked in Professor Leonard Kleinrock's networking group that connected the first two nodes of the ARPANET and contributed to the ARPANET host-to-host -host protocol. Cerf was an assistant professor at Stanford University from 1972 to 1976, where he conducted research on packet network interconnection protocols and co-designed the DoD TCP, IP protocol suite with Bob Kahn. He was a program manager for the Advanced Research Projects Agency from 1976 to 1982. Surf was instrumental in the formation of both the Internet Society and Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers ICANN, serving as founding president of the Internet Society from 1992 to 1995 and in 1999 as chairman of the board and as ICANN chairman from 2000 to 2007. His many awards include the National Medal of Technology, the Turing Award, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and membership in the National Academy of Engineering and the Internet Society's Internet Hall of Fame. <laughs> Peter Kirstein Peter T. Kirstein born 1933, is a British computer scientist and a leader in the international development of the Internet. In 1973, he established one of the first two international nodes of the ARPANET. In 1978 he co-authored, "...issues in packet network interconnection," with Vint Cerf, one of the early technical papers on the Internet concept. His research group at University College London adopted TCP, IP in 1982, a year ahead of ARPANET, and played a significant role in the very earliest experimental Internet work. Starting in 1983, he chaired the International Collaboration Board, which involved six NATO countries, served on the networking panel of the NATO Science Committee, serving as chair in 2001, and on advisory committees for the Australian Research Council, the Canadian Department of Communications, the German GMD, and the Indian Education and Research Network project. He leads the Silk Project, which provides satellite-based Internet access to the newly independent states in the Southern Caucasus and Central Asia. In 2012, Kirstein was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. <laughs> Steve Crocker Steve Crocker born 1944 in Pasadena, California, has worked in the ARPANET and Internet communities since their inception. As a UCLA graduate student in the 1960s, he helped create the ARPANET protocols which were the foundation for today's Internet. He created the Request for Comments series, authoring the very first RFC and many more. He was instrumental in creating the ARPA Network Working Group the forerunner of the modern Internet Engineering Task Force. Crocker has been a program manager at the Advanced Research Projects Agency ARPA, a senior researcher at USC's Information Sciences Institute, founder and director of the Computer Science Laboratory at the Aerospace Corporation and a vice president at Trusted Information Systems. In 1994, Crocker was one of the founders and chief technology officer of CyberCash, Inc. He has also been an IETF Security Area Director, a member of the Internet Architecture Board, Chair of the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers Security and Stability Advisory Committee, a board member of the Internet Society and numerous other Internet-related volunteer positions. Crocker is Chair of the Board of ICANN. For this work, Crocker was awarded the 2002 IEEE Internet Award for leadership in creation of key elements in open evolution of Internet protocols." In 2012, Crocker was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. <laughs> John Postel 
John Postel was a researcher at the Information Sciences Institute. He was editor of all early Internet Standards specifications, such as the Request for Comments RFC series. His beard and sandals made him the most recognizable archetype of an Internet pioneer. The Internet Society's Postal Award is named in his honor, as is the Postal Center at Information Sciences Institute. His obituary was written by Vint Cerf and published as RFC 2468 in remembrance of Postel and his work. In 2012, Postel was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce K. Reynolds Joyce K. Reynolds died 2015, was an American computer scientist and served as part of the editorial team of the Request for Comments series from 1987 to 2006. She performed the YANA function with John Postel until this was transferred to ICANN, then worked with ICANN in this role until 2001, while remaining an employee of ISI. As area director of the User Services Area, she was a member of the Internet Engineering Steering Group of the IETF from 1990 to March 1998. Together with Bob Braden, she received the 2006 Postel Award in recognition of her services to the Internet. She is mentioned, along with a brief biography, in RFC 1336, Who's Who in the Internet 1992. <laughs> Danny Cohen Danny Cohen led several projects on real-time interactive applications over the ARPANET and the Internet starting in 1973. After serving on the computer science faculty at Harvard University 1969 and Caltech 1976, he joined the Information Sciences Institute at University of Southern California USC. At ISI 1973 he started many network-related projects including, one to allow interactive, real-time speech over the ARPANET, packet voice, packet video, and Internet concepts. In 1981 he adapted his visual flight simulator to run over the ARPANET, the first application of packet switching networks to real-time applications. In 1993, he worked on distributed interactive simulation through several projects funded by United States Department of Defense. He is probably best known for his 1980 paper, On Holy Wars and a Plea for Peace, which adopted the terminology of Endianness for computing. Cohen was elected to the National Academy of Engineering in 2006 for contributions to the advanced design, graphics, and real-time network protocols of computer systems and as an IEEE Fellow in 2010 for contributions to protocols for packet switching in real-time applications. In 1993 he received a United States Air Force Meritorious Civilian Service Award. And in 2012, Cohen was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Topic: <laughs> Paul Makapatris. Paul V Makapatris, born 1948, while working with John Postel at the Information Sciences Institute in 1983, proposed the domain name system (DNS) architecture. He was IETF chair from 1994 to 1996. Makapatris received the 1997 John C. Dvorak Telecommunications Excellence Award, Personal Achievement, Network Engineering, for DNS design and implementation, the 2003 IEEE Internet Award for his contributions to DNS, and the Distinguished Alumnus Award from the University of California, Irvine. In May 2005, he received the ACM SIGCOM Lifetime Award. In 2012, Makapatris was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. <laughs> <laughs> David Clark David D. Clark born 1944, is an American computer scientist. 
During the period of tremendous growth and expansion of the Internet from 1981 to 1989, he acted as Chief Protocol Architect in the development of the Internet, and chaired the Internet Activities Board, which later became the Internet Architecture Board. He is currently a senior research scientist at the MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. In 1990 Clark was awarded the ACM SIGCOM Award in recognition of his major contributions to Internet Protocol and Architecture." In 1998 he received the IEEE Richard W. Hamming Medal for leadership and major contributions to the architecture of the Internet as a universal information medium." In 2001 he was inducted as a Fellow of the Association for Computing Machinery for his preeminent role in the development of computer communication and the Internet, including architecture, protocols, security, and telecommunications policy. In 2001, he was awarded the Telluride Tech Festival Award of Technology in Telluride, Colorado, and in 2011 the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Oxford Internet Institute, University of Oxford. In recognition of his intellectual and institutional contributions to the advance of the Internet. Topic: <inaudible> Susan Estrada. Susan Estrada founded SurfNet, one of the original regional IP networks, in 1988. Through her leadership and collaboration with Sunet and UNET, Estrada helped form the interconnection enabling the first commercial Internet traffic via the Commercial Internet Exchange. She wrote Connecting to the Internet in 1993 and she was inducted to the Internet Hall of Fame in 2014. She is on the Board of Trustees of the Internet Society. <laughs> Dave Mills. David L. Mills born 1938, is an American computer engineer. Mills earned his Ph.D. in Computer and Communication Sciences from the University of Michigan in 1971. While at Michigan he worked on the ARPA-sponsored Conversational Use of Computers project and developed DEC PDP-8 based hardware and software to allow terminals to be connected over phone lines to an IBM System 360 mainframe computer. Mills was the chairman of the Gateway Algorithms and Data Structures Task Force and the first chairman of the Internet Architecture Task Force. He invented the Network Time Protocol 1981, the DEC LSI-11 based fuzzball router that was used for the 56 kilobits per second NSF-NET 1985, the Exterior Gateway Protocol 1984, and inspired the author of Ping 1983. He is an emeritus professor at the University of Delaware. In 1999 he was inducted as a Fellow of the Association for Computing Machinery, and in 2002, as a Fellow of the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers In 2008, Mills was elected to the National Academy of Engineering In 2013 he received the IEEE Internet Award for significant leadership and sustained contributions in the research, development, standardization, and deployment of quality time synchronization capabilities for the Internet. <laughs> Radia Perlman Radia Joy Perlman born 1951, is the software designer and network engineer who developed the Spanning Tree Protocol which is fundamental to the operation of network bridges. She also played an important role in the development of link state routing protocols such as ASAS which had a significant influence on OSPF. In 2010 she received the ACM SIGCOM Award for her fundamental contributions to the Internet routing and bridging protocols that we all use and take for granted every day. <laughs> Dennis M. Jennings Dennis M. Jennings is an Irish physicist, academic, Internet pioneer, and venture capitalist. In 1984, the National Science Foundation NSF began construction of several regional supercomputing centers to provide very high-speed computing resources for the U.S. research community. 
In 1985 NSF hired Jennings to lead the establishment of the National Science Foundation Network to link five of the supercomputing centers to enable sharing of resources and information. Jennings made three critical decisions that shaped the subsequent development of NSF and ET. That it would be a general-purpose research network, not limited to connection of the supercomputers. It would act as the backbone for connection of regional networks at each supercomputing site, and it would use the ARPANET's TCP, IP protocols. Jennings was also actively involved in the startup of research networks in Europe, European Academic Research Network, ERN, President, Ebone, Board Member, and Ireland, HENET, Initial Proposal and Later Board Member. He chaired the Board and General Assembly of the Council of European National Top Level Domain Registries from 1999 to early 2001 and was actively involved in the startup of the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. He was a member of the ICANN Board from 2007 to 2010, serving as Vice Chair in 2009 2010. In April 2014 Jennings was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame. <laughs> Steve Wolf Stephen Steve Wolf participated in the development of ARPANET while working for the U.S. Army. In 1986 he became Division Director for Networking and Communications Research and Infrastructure at the National Science Foundation NSF, where he managed the development of NSF and ET. He also conceived the Gigabit Testbed, a joint NSF-DARPA project to prove the feasibility of IP networking at gigabit speeds. His work at NSF transformed the fledgling Internet from a narrowly focused U.S. government project into the modern Internet with scholarly and commercial interest for the entire world. In 1994 he left NSF to join Cisco as a technical manager in corporate consulting engineering. In 2011 he became the CTO at Internet2. In 2002 the Internet Society recognized Wolf with its Postal Award. When presenting the award, Internet Society ISOC President and CEO Lynn Street Amour said, Steve helped transform the Internet from an activity that served the specific goals of the research community to a worldwide enterprise which has energized scholarship and commerce throughout the world. The Internet Society also recognized Wolf in 1994 for his courage and leadership in advancing the Internet. Topic. Sally Floyd Sally Floyd is an American engineer recognized for her extensive contributions to Internet architecture and her work in identifying practical ways to control and stabilize Internet congestion. She invented the Random Early Detection Active Queue Management Scheme, which has been implemented in nearly all commercially available routers, and devised the now common method of adding delay jitter to message timers to avoid synchronization collisions. Floyd, with Vern Paxson, in 1997 identified the lack of knowledge of network topology as the major obstacle in understanding how the Internet works. This paper, Why We Don't Know How to Simulate the Internet, was republished as Difficulties in Simulating the Internet in 2001 and won the IEEE Communication Society's William R. Bennett Prize Paper Award. Floyd is also a co author on the Standard for TCP Selective Acknowledgement, Explicit Congestion Notification, the Datagram Congestion Control Protocol, and TCP Friendly Rate Control. She received the IEEE Internet Award in 2005 and the ACM SIGCOM Award in 2007 for her contributions to congestion control. She has been involved in the Internet Advisory Board, and is one of the top 10 most cited researchers in computer science. <laughs> Van Jacobson Van Jacobsen is an American computer scientist, best known for his work on TCP, IP network performance and scaling. 
His work redesigning TCP, IP's flow control algorithms Jacobson's algorithm to better handle congestion is said to have saved the Internet from collapsing in the late 1980s and early 1990s. He is also known for the TCP, IP header compression protocol described in RFC 1144, compressing TCP, IP headers for low-speed serial links, popularly known as Van Jacobson TCP, IP header compression. He is co-author of several widely used network diagnostic tools, including Traceroute, TCP Dump, and Pathchar. He was a leader in the development of the multicast backbone M -bone and the multimedia tools VIC, VAT, and WB. For his work, Jacobson received the 2001 ACM SIGCOM Award for Lifetime Achievement, the 2003 IEEE Koji Kobayashi Computers and Communications Award, and was elected to the National Academy of Engineering in 2006. In 2012, Jacobson was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. Ted Nelson Theodore Home Ted Nelson born 1937, is an American sociologist and philosopher. In 1960 he founded Project Xanadu with the goal of creating a computer network with a simple user interface. Project Xanadu was to be a worldwide electronic publishing system using hypertext linking that would have created a universal library. In 1963 he coined the terms hypertext and hypermedia. In 1974 he wrote and published two books in one, Computer Lib, Dream Machines, that has been hailed as the most important book in the history of new media. Sadly, his grand ideas from the 1960s and 1970s never became completed projects. Tim Berners-Lee Timothy John Tim Berners-Lee is a British physicist and computer scientist. In 1980, while working at CERN, he proposed a project using hypertext to facilitate sharing and updating information among researchers. While there, he built a prototype system named Inquire. Back at CERN in 1989 he conceived of and, in 1990, together with Robert Kaliau, created the first client and server implementations for what became the World Wide Web. Berners-Lee is the director of the World Wide Web Consortium W3C, a standards organization which oversees and encourages the web's continued development, co-director of the Web Science Trust, and founder of the World Wide Web Foundation. In 1994, Berners-Lee became one of only six members of the World Wide Web Hall of Fame. In 2004, Berners-Lee was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for his pioneering work. In April 2009, he was elected a Foreign Associate of the United States National Academy of Sciences, based in Washington, D.C. In 2012, Berners-Lee was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. <laughs> Robert Kaliau Robert Kaliau French, Ka born 1947, is a Belgian informatics engineer and computer scientist who, working with Tim Berners-Lee and Nicola Pello at CERN, developed the World Wide Web. In 2012 he was inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame by the Internet Society. <laughs> Nicola Pello Nicola Pello, one of the 19 members of the WWW project at CERN working with Tim Berners-Lee, is recognized for developing the first cross-platform internet browser, Line Mode Browser, that displayed web pages on dumb terminals and was released in May 1991. She joined the project in November 1990, while an undergraduate math student enrolled in a sandwich course at Leicester Polytechnic now De Montfort University. She left CERN at the end of August 1991, but returned after graduating in 1992, and worked with Robert Kaliau on MACWWW, the first web browser for the classic Mac OS. <laughs> Mark P. McCahill 
Mark P. McCahill born 1956, is an American programmer and systems architect. While working at the University of Minnesota he led the development of the Gopher Protocol 1991, the effective predecessor of the World Wide Web, and contributed to the development and popularization of a number of other Internet technologies from the 1980s. Mark Andreessen Mark L. Andreessen born 1971, is an American software engineer, entrepreneur, and investor. Working with Eric Bina while at NCSA, he co-authored Mosaic, the first widely used web browser. He is also co-founder of Netscape Communications Corporation. Eric Bina Eric J. Bina born 1964, is an American computer programmer. In 1993, together with Mark Andreessen, he authored the first version of Mosaic while working at NCSA at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Mosaic is famed as the first killer application that popularized the Internet. He is also a co-founder of Netscape Communications Corporation. Birth of the Internet plaque A plaque commemorating the birth of the Internet was dedicated at a conference on the history and future of the Internet on July 28, 2005 and is displayed at the Gates Computer Science Building, Stanford University. The text printed and embossed in black into the brushed bronze surface of the plaque reads Birth of the Internet the architecture of the Internet and the design of the Core Networking Protocol TCP which later became TCP, IP were conceived by Vinton G. Cerf and Robert E. Kahn during 1973 while Cerf was at Stanford's Digital Systems Laboratory and Kahn was at ARPA later DARPA. In the summer of 1976, Cerf left Stanford to manage the program with Khan at ARPA. Their work became known in September 1973 at a networking conference in England. Cerf and Khan's seminal paper was published in May 1974. Cerf, Yogan K. Dalal, and Carl Sunshine wrote the first full TCP specification in December 1974. With the support of DARPA, early implementations of TCP and IP later, were tested by Bolt Berenick and Newman BBN, Stanford, and University College London during 1975. BBN built the first Internet gateway, now known as a router, to link networks together. In subsequent years, researchers at MIT and USC ISI, among many others, played key roles in the development of the set of Internet protocols. Key Stanford Research Associates and Foreign Visitors Vinton Cerf Dag Belsnes Seal of Leland Stanford James Mathis Ronald Crane Jr. University Bob Metcalf Yogan Dalal 1891 Daryl Rubin Judith Estrin Motto in German, John Shoch Richard Karp die Luft der Freiheit Weht Carl Sunshine Gerard Lalan Kuninobu Tano DARPA Robert Kahn Collaborating Groups Bolt Berenick and Newman William Plummer Ginny Strazisar Ray Tomlinson MIT Noel Chiappa David Clark Stephen Kent David P. Reed NDRE YNGVAR Lund Paul Spilling University College London Frank Dignan Martin Gallen Peter Higginson Andrew Hinchley Peter Kirstein Adrian Stokes USC ISI Robert Braden Danny Cohen Daniel Lynch John Postel Ultimately, thousands if not tens to hundreds of thousands have contributed their expertise to the evolution of the Internet. Dedicated July 28, 2005 Topic. 
See also History of the Internet History of Hypertext History of the World Wide Web IEEE Internet Award Internet Hall of Fame